What's up guys? Today we have something new for you. We are starting a new series. Mega doesn't even know I'm about to say this. It is called Dessert Every Night. The premise of this is we're gonna come up with a bunch of desserts that we're comfortable eating every night. They don't have a ton of erythritol in it. They don't have a ton of like net carbs. Like this dessert here we're about to make, it is a white chocolate cheesecake cupcake. It has one total carb per cupcake. You can eat this thing every night, feel good about it. To get started, we are going to be using some cacao butter here. This is something, this gives it the chocolate flavor. You can leave this out and you're left with more of like a cheesecake fat bomb type of thing. This really makes it delicious. You can pick it up on Amazon. I'll link the one we use below. For this though, you're gonna wanna finely chop the cacao butter because the nice thing about it is it's very stable at room temperature. The downside to that is it's hard to get it to melt. So if you finally chop it, it has a much better time melting. So that's what we're gonna do here. Okay, so the key to this recipe is having everything at room temperature before you start. The eggs are at room temperature. We have a package of cream cheese here that's at room temperature. That just lets it all mix together a lot easier. You're gonna have two bowls going here. You're gonna have your hot ingredients and your ingredients that you don't want to get burned. So right here, second bowl, we are going to put the package of cream cheese. This is eight ounces of cream cheese and then crack your six eggs in there. To give it that cheesecake flavor, you're gonna want a little bit of sour cream, six tablespoons. You can just kind of eyeball it. It's a little bit more than a third of a cup. We're gonna hit it with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Bowl's getting kind of full, isn't it? I'm a little worried about it. Yeah, do any kind of extract you like. You can even add vanilla plus something else. If you have, they must make chocolate extract, right? They do. If you have chocolate extract, I think that would be good because this is very lightly chocolate flavored. If you've ever had cacao butter, it's not like the full flavor of chocolate. It just gives you a little hint of chocolate. So we're gonna do 50 drops of stevia. That's the sweetness level we like. So if you're going for dessert every night, I like just using stevia. If you're going for more of an indulgent dessert, you can add a quarter cup of erythritol with some stevia. That's a good way to go too. Use powdered erythritol though. 40 drops of this concentrated stevia is half a teaspoon. So just a little bit over half a teaspoon. Okay, so that is your one mixture. Now we're gonna mix that all together before we move on to dealing with the other mixture. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna move it to a bigger mixing bowl. This is dumb. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. For some reason in my mind, I always wanna like use just enough bowl for the mixture. It doesn't hurt to err on the side of a bigger bowl, guys. We're, all, to tell them, you're just tell yourself. we're all learning over here. Our white chocolate hermit crab just got a new shell. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're still looking pretty chunky. That's not a huge deal though because we are gonna add a warm mixture to that, so that will kind of bring everything up to a temperature that it mixes together well. You, the temperature is kind of key in this, like you can mess it up if this is too hot and you add it in, or if all your ingredients are really cold and then it just immediately cools down the cacao butter. We're gonna microwave some butter, four tablespoons here. Pretty hot, that's good because this cacao butter will melt and then it'll kind of cool it down a little bit. Add the cacao butter. Now just stir this around. Might take a little while to fully melt. You may even need to microwave it one more time, but you really gotta give this some time, let it melt. This will really test your patience, this cacao butter here. I'm actually not gonna wait the entire time. We're almost there. You can see just a few little speckles left. So this is relatively hot. It's at least warm. If it's burning hot, you don't wanna add it to this because it'll just cook the eggs and everything. But we're gonna slowly add it while we beat this. And you can see how chunky this is. It'll come together. Oh, you know what? I used the emulsion blender last time. An em you're gonna wanna use an immersion mixer like this or a blender, cause it is too chunky. We can't put this in like this. So I'm just gonna zap it with this a few times. And that just really mixes it a lot better. It helps the fat combine with everything. So now we have this silicon mold here, 12 cavity. That's a weird term for <laughs> 12 well, cavity. Yeah. It's not appealing. 
So this is a standard cupcake mold here. We're gonna fill it up, all 12 of them. Start with a quarter cup. It should be a little bit more than a quarter cup in each though. They're not really gonna, they'll rise a little bit, but then they'll sink back down when they cool, but they're not gonna rise anything crazy. So don't worry about overfilling them too much. We're gonna pop these into a 300 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. We'll be back when they're done. And that is what happens to them. They poof up pretty good. You can kind of touch them and feel that they're solid all the way through though. And they are going to sink back down. We are going to let these sit out for about a half hour. Then you're going to want to put them in the fridge for a good hour. So they set because it is kind of like a cheesecakey thing. You want it to set. Here we are guys. They are out of the fridge. They've been in there for a good hour and they've set. You can see they look really cheesecake like pretty dense. And you actually don't get much separation at all of the fat. You can see it's pretty uniform consistency throughout, which is cool. So here's what the consistency of these is like. You can see very like thick and cheesecakey. Delicious. It's like a weird mixture, not in a bad way, in a good way of cheesecake and then you get like the hint of chocolate from the cacao butter. It's really good. It's not an overwhelming chocolate taste. So if you want that, definitely add some cocoa powder, some chocolate extract, cocoa extract, or like a melted baker's chocolate bar. That would all be really good in here. Um, but this as it is, would be really good like topped with some butter and cinnamon. You probably wanna go like raspberries or blueberries or something. So kind of the give and take guys of dessert every night is it's not always gonna be the absolute most delicious food you've ever created, but it's a really good, tasty, it satisfies your dessert craving, and you can feel good about it. There's a middle ground there, and that's the kind of desserts I like making. I don't like making like the really overly indulgent desserts that I feel like I can't fit into my diet on a daily basis. It's delicious, you guys will love it. Give this a try, guys. The description, how to do it and everything is linked below, there's a blog post the macros and everything, white chocolate cheesecake muffins.